Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Um, this evening, I received a question from Super Tech Tricks um, about Ninja Gaiden Black and the ISO. Um, he was having problems with it, so um, he asked me to make a quick video, try to help him, you know, get through these quick, couple quick issues, and hopefully, we can walk through this quickly. And I'll let you guys get back to what you were doing. Hopefully it's gaming. Um, the, the game in question he was talking about was Ninja Gaiden Black. Which they did just release the Ninja Gaiden series on the Nintendo Switch. Definitely picked that up today. Was working on a video. So I guess this kind of puts it hand in hand. So now I get a chance to play it the original before I play the one on the Switch. So not that I haven't played it before. So, um, let's see, we'll just get right to it. Here's the program that we'll be using is Extract X ISO, which I will leave the link down in the description. Um, they did reinstate the downloads, so I know at one point that, um, I guess they were maybe updating it or something, but the link wasn't working. But as of making this video, the link is now working, so you can go back to it and download it so let's basically get to it okay so i do have the ninja gaiden black iso i'm just going here drop it on top of the exe because you know like the previous videos don't do a lot of typing myself not that i can't just i guess lazy so basically it extracted the folder so the normal way to do it is to take the characters down to eight characters or less so in this case, we'll just make it NI because I, like I said, really don't want to do, well, dang, N. That's even better. So we'll open up the emulator uh, like I normally do. i um, use it to test it. So we'll go here. And go to the drive where the game is. Which... Remember, I changed the name to N. So then you look for the default EXBE. And then there's that logo. So we definitely know it's a game. And this one, particular emulator, the game doesn't work. I mean, we can try to boot it, but I mean, it opens and all that good stuff and shows the tidal waves and everything, but the game just does not work at all. Which you will run across a couple games that are not compatible, which they do have a compatibility page that you can go to. In this case, here's the Ninja Gaiden Black one. Right here, it says, they show you the screenshot, so basically what you're looking at, what you're going to see. So in this case, as you can see, it says the game runs fine during boot and all the menus. However, upon starting a new game, the opening does not render but the audio is heard, so let's see. Point, the sword is supposed to be on the screen, black but dragon. as you can see, it is not he rendered. This is definitely not compatible to with this world game. during the age of ancient myth. It has been sealed by those of the dragon lineage since the dawn of history because of its incredible capacity for evil, made possible by the souls of the vanquished I mean, black dragons. We don't even really have to go through dwell. it, but. Within, I always say check their compatibility it is said uh, with the games or whatever the seal so you broken, can save yourself some time the hatred and so in this case we'll stop this one so I guess we'll get on to the meat and potatoes while we're you know, here so what we do is you hold the shift key you're going to right click and you want to go to open PowerShell now with the PowerShell window you do not have administrative rights so if you're on your C drive and the folder is not going to work. It's not going to let you write to the drive. 
So in my, you know, in any case, I always say you have multiple drives. You have a thumb drive or external drive. You can use PowerShell and create the ISO onto that. But as far as the C drive, you're not going to, because like I said, you don't have administrative rights. So in this case, we're going to come out of the directory. You're going to type the command that's posted on the screen, which I'll probably put it down somewhere on the screen so you can see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the folder. So in this case, I left it as in, so I just hit the enter button. I say give it a few seconds and then bam. Okay, so it create the ISO. And as you can see, the ISO is created. <clears throat> you can take the old ISO out if you so choose. I mean, it's up to you. Basically, it's your drive, your space. So then we'll put the name back. Then we'll slide on over to the other emulator, which is the Xbox emulator. So we're gonna say load. And tell it to reset. This will make it a little bit bigger here. Well, actually, we just go full screen and just get it on out the way. See this one it is compatible with it. There's the blade, black unlike on the last emulator. It brought plague and death to the world during the age of ancient myth. So it has been to seen through this by those of the dragon lineage since the dawn of history because of its incredible capacity for evil, made possible by the souls of the vanquished black dragons that dwell within it. It is said that if the blade seal were to be broken, it would gather the hatred and evil of mankind and confer it upon the one who wields it, transforming him into the devil incarnate. However, not even those of the dragon lineage who protect it know the true extent of its power. The dragon sword, another weapon, protected by the dragon lineage since ancient times. This sword, which is said to have been used by ancient warriors to slay the black dragons, is now handed down from generation to generation in the Hayabusa Ninja clan, the modern descendants of the dragon lineage. And now, the dragon sword is gripped firmly in the hands of young ninja. Ryu Hayabusa. Which this is going to be a long pause right here. I have yet to figure out why. Oh, okay. I guess it went on through this time. Far from perfect. Look at his eyes. That was kind of creepy. I almost thought he was a dragon right there myself. However, as you can see, the game is working. Feel free to reach out. Um, 
any video that you want me to make, just drop a comment in the, the comments of whatever video. And then I do check those periodically you know, throughout the day. So, like I said, it's more or less like one of those situations where if I do have the game, I will make a video that day. If not, then I'll try to get to it as best as quick as I can. to you as soon as I can. Alright, take care.